So check this out because I want to go back to kind of my story because I want to tell you guys where my head's at, right? So I have to go back to work on uh, Monday. First thing is, and I'm just and I'm trying to keep it not political, but I'm not vaccinated. I've already had COVID. Okay. F- first thing when I talk to my boss, he's like, "All right, things have changed since you came back." He's like, "Can't really ask you directly, blah blah blah." But there's a lot of jobs that are vaccine only, or you have to be mandate, you know, to work on those jobs, which makes no sense at all to me. But he's like, he did find a spot for me, which also I am so blessed to be able to call a guy after seven months which I've been keeping in touch with him, but like call a guy after seven months of not working and be like, hey man, do you have any work for me? And then I have a job on Monday and I'm actually getting paid more money than when I left because our union has gone up hey. with inflation. White man problems. <laughs> the Rolex is going to take like two months. Yeah. Once you wear Rolex and then to be stricken for two months without it, do you, it's it's like poison. It's like chemo. Horrible. It's Horrible. essentially like people taking chemo. That's what I would imagine. <laughs> when they're like, they start, like I'm going to start losing my hair. I'm going to just lose weight because <laughs> without the Rolex, that's, I feed <laughs> off of it. Such a D bag, dude. That's not a real. hairline. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. Right? Like, they're like, oh, this is him without the whole Rolex. And I'm like, my, my hairline's where it's at right now, way back. And then here he is a year after obtaining the Submariner. Mm. And it's, I look like, I don't know, like Chris Evans. I look great. <laughs> but no, it's, it was a, uh, just the last few days, I'm just trying to comment on like the fact that it was like all of a sudden, because I went, Today's Friday. I went yesterday to the doctor and I was like really on the fence of like, all right, am I ready to come back or should I maybe give it another month? Because I'm still healing. Like I'm not, that's the thing is it's not like, oh, you're hundred percent. It's like, no, for one, I'm never going to be hundred percent again, which I knew that, but it's kind of like, you know, Hey, do you want to give it a shot? Or it's like, man, it's hard. You know, like when I go help out with you guys every Tuesday, like I feel it in my wrist and in my knees, like after just moving and giving food out and moving boxes off of Palax for like a few hours. So now to go be an electrician. So part of me, like, okay, so first of all, I was like, all right. It was, he told me, he's like, look, it, it's been seven months. Like, it's very hard for me to keep disability going for you at this point, unless you go see a hand specialist, which I've already seen, but I would have to see like a different one. And I was like, you know what? Let's just try to do work. So it was all of a sudden, I was like, cool, I'm going back to work on Monday. And then I was like, all right, what else do I got? Okay, I have a crazy weekend with tons of podcasts and I have to do like a bunch of other behind the scenes shit. And it was like, I'm so excited, but I'm also not terrified. I mean, I was terrified when I lost my Rolex to the service guy, but like, I'm not terrified right now, but I just, I don't know. I'm so not conflicted, but I could feel both sides very strongly. Like one part of me is like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a hell of a weekend. And then the other part of me is like, hell yes. I cannot wait for this weekend. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Do you guys, I mean, with you and your business, do you ever feel like that? Where it's like, oh my gosh, it's daunting, but you can't wait to get started. Oh yeah, like that's that's definitely a thing. Like, I'll have days. Okay, like like I said, so Thursday through Sunday is like when I try to like just get out there, kind of deal, you know. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I'll just have days where I'm just like, I I just I don't want to. Mm-hmm. Like something inside of me is just like, no, don't don't go out, just stay home. Don't worry about it today. Like you have all these other things you need to take care of. But it's like, no, I've dedicated this time. I've dedicated this, yeah, essentially I've dedicated this time towards quickies. Mm-hmm. I have to do it. I've given into it once. And uh, it was actually pretty much like, it was the day that the show aired. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know why, but like, I just felt like it was a lot. Like mm-hmm. watching myself like up there and just like, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go out into the world and, like, go sell cookies today. Because, like, a part of me is, like, I kind of want to tell people, like, hey, these cookies that you're buying right now, like, I'm not just some guy who's, like, selling cookies. Like, <laughs> you don't, I got, I got you don't a, understand. I got a TV show, bro. Like, Guys. I am a self-taught professional <laughs> baker. Like, that's the title yeah. that they gave me. And I'm just like, <gasps> but. Were you able to shout out quickies on the show? No. Oh, that's so, like, a huge bummer. Yeah, I know, right? So there were a few of us who actually did like own businesses and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. like none of us were allowed to like mm-hmm. do any of that. Mm-hmm. Um, we did talk about our business, but we didn't like actually like name drop or anything like that. Right. I oh, it would be so tough to yeah. not figure out a workaround. Seriously, like, I'm just gonna make this stuff really quick, like real quickie. You know what I mean? Like I love <laughs> quickies, cookies. Like they're just the quickies are the best. I would just be throwing that in there every five seconds. But absolutely. Um, what do you? Well, okay, we'll go for for you, Amber. Like when you have a ton on your plate, because I've I've talked to a lot of different friends that kind of do different vocations. That some guys will just 
it like doesn't phase them. They'll just keep adding work, adding work, and we're women, or you know what I mean. It just like they just keep taking on more, and they're like a superhero. But then one day they're just burnt, burnt. and they're just like no, like zero production, like and they're done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then there's some guys that you know maybe they don't have a great work ethic, but they can just keep going at that kind of pace. And then there's somewhere in between where they do a lot, but they don't let themselves get burnt out. You know what I mean? Where do you think where do you think you're at? Like work ethic wise and just kind of managing your energy of like taking on new stuff. I used to go hard, no pun intended, you two. To What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, where's my camera? Do you see what I'm dealing with here? Like we haven't said anything and she's like I've been on my best behavior. Right? Over here. <laughs> Dude, what is this? I even left like one button button. I kind of hold my in, you know? Sure, maybe I got to wear a more shallow V, I guess. But uh... Uh, Okay, so. <laughs> you, just, you just skipped like six steps of the flirting <laughs> flirting stages. I felt it. The whole world felt that ripple. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Small earthquake okay. in California. <laughs> so, yeah, I used to like go super hard at work, life, everything, right? Mm-hmm. And get totally burned out and energy just at a zero and it was horrible. Mm-hmm. Obviously that did not work for me. So I've kind of re-strategized that to um like really reframe it and like to do list priority mm-hmm. and prioritize what's important has to be done first, you know, logistically, due dates, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then only do so much only put so much on my plate per day Mm -hmm. and always leave time for myself Mm -hmm. whether it be an hour to read a book an hour to take a bath an hour to get Mm -hmm. a massage whatever (laughs) you two stop it (laughs) you both looked at each other (laughs) an hour to take you enjoyed this content be sure to check out the standing still podcast both here on youtube and wherever else you listen to podcasts